what's up everybody it's yours truly aka champion and there's three things i want to talk about before i get in this video one there was an update done earlier this week at first it was uh mastercraft and weapons were 150k in the yard and armors were 300k to mastercraft but now uh admin paul made it so that it goes by level skill which is um Basically, if you have a wood axe, which is 70 melee skill, I'll actually do the crowbar first because that's a less melee skill. You guys would understand it better. So, crowbar 35 melee skill. Basically, if I enhance it, it's 36k. So, wood axe 70 melee skill. If I enhance it, it's 71k. So, basically, he upped all the mastercrafts with uh, weapons and armor, and he also did the same for uh color dye so if i dye my cloak it's 66k that goes by level two i don't even know what it goes by i guess it goes by like how valuable it is i guess because if i do it with the vengeance guard it's 220k just to dye it one time which is a lot of money Admin Pond did this because he said it was long overdue, everything's spiking up in the marketplace everything's worth a lot more now than it was back then and yeah, so he increased the Mastercrafts and the uh, color dye. This is tough for low-level players, so that's my biggest argument against it. And Admin Palm realized this. That's why he did it by um, level skill, which I still feel like it's like... I mean, it's still expensive. Like a crowbar, if you scrap it, it's only like 1.2k. But if I enhance it, it's 36k. That's, like, that's just crazy if you ask me. But I'm sure you guys feel the same way. I mean, I'm not too thrilled about it, but I see where Admin Pawn is coming from. So, I'll, I'll move on from that. And the second update that I want to tell you guys about, we got a new implant out in the credit shop. I should have checked my YouTube to see when the uh, the destruction implant came out. Actually, not the destruction. The, uh, the genius implant came out just to see if it was one month since the last implant or two months because I feel like he did this last month I'm gonna just check it real quick on my laptop just to make sure because I swear he released this implant much quicker all right here's the video right now um September 15th October 15th yeah it's been one month since the last implant so he released this implant much quicker than the last one um, it's a haste implant. I don't even know what haste means, uh, but I googled it and to give you the exact definition of it um, Haste means excessive speed or urgency uh, or uh, Excessive speed or urgency of movement or action hurry. So I guess that's why he named it that obviously so I didn't buy one yet, so I'm going to buy this right now. It's also non-transferable, just like the, um, I keep forgetting the name, Genius Implant. So the only transferable implant is the Destruction Implant, which is, um, you know, that's just going to spike up in the marketplace for Destruction Implants. So you might as well get a Destruction Implant while you can. They're like 90 mil in the marketplace right now, but they're just going to spike up. But... For the haste implant, there's three reasons why you should buy it. And if you don't meet any of these requirements, I suggest don't buy it. Number one, you got to be rich. I mean, you don't really need movement speed that much. So if you're buying this, it's only because you have spare credits and spare cash. And, you know, it's really not going to take that much out of your bank. And you're going to have a lot left over to do other things with your money. And number two... Uh, if you're a traveler, if you love to travel to inner city, if you go all around the map, and um, it just saves you time, you get to locations much quicker. And third, if you take bosses around the block like I do, such as Flame and Black Titans, Black Titans, or if you go into Wastelands to kill the Devil Hound, so that's useful as well. So the Haste Implant is definitely worth the buy if you meet any of those three requirements. And I'm going to equip this right now. So that's number two with the update. And number three, we got the Halloween news. And to basically sum this up, Friday, October 28th, November 2nd, which is five days, we're going to have this Halloween event. Basically, it's the same thing. Several rare types of infected only appearing throughout the event. And it'll be dropping some unique, never-seen-before Halloween theme loot. So 
We don't know what's going to be in the loot. We're just going to have to, you know, wait for the event to find out just like last time. And this 100% ammo cash loot, 100% weapon armor loot chance for the entire five days. The only thing that is missing is the EXP, which I'm pretty sure Admin Pawn is going to add that as well. Seeing that it's been done every year. So I'll be pretty surprised if he's not going to have that this year. I'm pretty sure he just forgot to mention it just because it's like self-explanatory. Because that's how he always does it. And I guess he really didn't feel felt it was necessary to explain to you guys but i'm sure it'll clear it up because uh there's some questions in the forums about it so i'm pretty sure he'll um you know like i said clear it up so that's number three of the update so just to sum it up again master crafts crowbar wood axe i'll go back in the yard i only bought these just to show you guys so i'm gonna just uh scrap them right now <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm just wasting my money for you guys. I spent like 4k on the crowbar, 7k on the wood axe, so not right that much. Just to show you guys again, 71k. Crazy, 10 times the amount. Uh, scrap, crowbar, 36k. Scrap, cloak, obviously I'm not going to scrap that. I'm just showing you guys the color die, 66k. Vengeance guard, uh, 220k. I can't really show you guys any of these because these are already god crafted, but I'm pretty sure if I had to take a guess, they're probably like 150k because they're the max uh, level skill required. But that's step one. Step two, the new implant, and step three, um, the Halloween event. So those are the three updates. And for this video, I'm going to go out in the inner city for you guys and. I got a location in mind. It's not the hospital, but I'm going to see if I can find a school to loot. I think I know the location of it. So I'm going to take you guys there right now. Alright, so I was looking for the school and I was looking everywhere and I can't find it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to loot the hospital. However, I'm going to loot the hospital 6 up, 3 right. That's the one I didn't loot during the last video. So I might as well bang that hospital out just to show you guys what it looks like. And maybe I'll get something good just because, you know, it's the deepest hospital. I'll show you guys real quick. All the way here. So it's one left from the very top right. And before I go in the hospital, I figured to try and do something fun with you guys. So I got a 50% speed boost with this uh, uh, Hazel, Hazen implant on. I think it's Hazel. Yeah, I forgot the name of it. Oh my god. But uh, I got a stopwatch uh, right next to me. So I'm going to start it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very bottom right, to the very top right as quick as I can. And then once I do that, I'm going to... Do the same thing all over again but without the uh haste implant so here we go in three two one go see how quick i'm moving i mean it's not that big of a difference in my opinion uh just because i guess because i have the march the living implant on and i hold up hold up 17 18 Alright, so 18.96. So I'm going to go all the way back again and take the same uh, way again. So we'll see how this goes the second time. But not too bad, I guess. But as I was saying, I don't really notice that big of a difference. But, you know, speed is speed. So I'm moving quicker. So, I mean, I guess that's the main purpose of it, obviously. So... I'm going to go in my inventory, take this out real quick, see how quick I uh, move it out. I'm actually going to jot this down real quick. Put it in the description for you guys, 18.96. That way I don't forget about that uh, number. Because chances are I'll probably forget it after the video. 18.96. Alright. So, as you can see, I got, you know, the destruction, the genius, and the haste with all perception and the march of the living. Now, if I was grinding for EXP, I would actually take the haste implant out because you don't really need uh, speed when it comes to grinding aggro unless you're, like, using a nade launcher and you're just circling the aggro and whatnot. So, I would replace, you know, a uh, perception implant with the haste implant anyway. So, let's do this again. We uh, reset the stopwatch in three, two, one, go. 
Uh, of course, there's zombies in my way. Come on now. All right, so I am moving a little slower. Obviously, I do notice that. Of course, all the aggro starts coming at me. All right, well, I'm juking it, so we're good. 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so 20.55. So it's basically, honestly, that's not really even worth it. Uh, less than a two second difference to be exact. Uh, 1.50 seconds, which isn't even that much. I'm actually pretty disappointed right now. And I swear the second time when I did it, I had all the aggro in my way. It was blocking me from moving and I still almost outran myself even with the haste implant on. So I'm actually a little disappointed in this. All right. So I'm gonna go back in my inventory and re-equip this thing on real quick and then we're gonna loot the hospital and then we'll call it a wrap. And if I don't get five weapons or armors or ammo, I'll just buy off the marketplace and give it to you guys. Note, this does affect looters as well, not just new players about the uh, Mastercraft update. So if you loot, be sure to just scrap your weapons or armors. Don't bother Mastercrafting it. I know that's a habit because you guys are so used to Mastercraft and then scrapping. Now you just gotta scrap it, don't Mastercraft. Alright. So I'm gonna go back down again, enter this hospital. And see how it says 40% speed? There we go. I was gonna say it takes some time to update for some reason, but it eventually gets there. So let's see what this hospital looks like. I mean, I know I went in here before, but I forget what it looks like, so we'll see. Ah, so it's like the, uh, like I said in my last time, I went up here. The G1 hospital back in, uh, Old North DC. Alright. Let's get this rolling. I'm gonna just switch to my long shot. So, I mean... My opinion of the Mastercraft, I already told you guys that. I'm not really too thrilled about it for the Halloween event. It's sort of like same thing, different year. Ow, of course I get slack, but I was expecting something new. I was pretty surprised that it's five days for the event now. I think last year it might have been three or four days, so five days is definitely a long time for a for an event, especially for Halloween. I mean, Halloween isn't even that special. Like, no offense for your... Uh, you know, trick or cheaters. Like I told you guys, you guys were going, you know, buy the champion costume. Remember, I told you guys that already. You guys were going to make a champion costume, get all the candy, and you know, make a uh, lots of goodies, I guess. So, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I'm not too big on the Halloween event either. I'm hoping we get that EXP. I'm sure we will though. And it's also the ammo event too. I forgot to mention that. So 250% ammo loot amount. So 1,379 rounds at 12.7. Holy crap. That has to be the biggest box I ever looted. And actually, I can actually give that away too. So one of you lucky guys are going to, or girls might win a uh, double the box 12.7 because you know 12.7 comes in boxes of 600 so that's double the amount right there plus you know 179 added on to it so all right so so far everything's doing good with this looting and i should be able to get the five things to give out quicker just because of the ammo loot amount so i'm definitely going to be looting full boxes like crazy at least i think so like i've never really looted with the ammo event before I think maybe once or twice, but I don't really remember the results. But with that big box of 12.7, yeah, pretty impressive. I mean, not like it matters for me too, because I have ghost ammo and whatnot, so I don't mind giving that stuff away. Speaking of giveaways, I was thinking yesterday, I was like, when am I going to make this giveaway for you guys? Like I told you guys, I haven't been bringing it up. I really have no clue on a specific date, but I did have somebody the other day who is taking a break from Death Frontier and sent me some stuff, and I'll probably be giving that away too to you guys. It's like a marksman, a bioreactive, and... I think that's about it, but that's still pretty valuable stuff right there, for sure. So, I'm 
definitely plan on giving that out to you guys. Not sure when though, like I said, so just please be patient with me on it. I haven't even looked into it that much in a while, like I told you guys, so we'll see how it goes. Let's see if I can loot this. I said I was going to use the long shot, but I'm pulling out my Wraith Cannon. Uh, the Wraith Cannon is just so addicting of a weapon to use just because it has a limited ammo. It's the most powerful weapon in the game. And I just love gaining EXP, so. Even when I'm the max level, it don't matter. Of course I'm stuck. I swear I did this tour in my last Luna video, too. Alright. So I guess I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I did do that during my last video. I just never learned from my mistakes. Come on now. These dogs are quick. The aggro's picking up too. Alright, so I'm just going to back of the hospital. That's another good tactic. I know some people, instead of looting the front of the hospital, they'll go to the back of the hospital, then loot the front. That's pretty good if you're a low level player, don't have high level gear to kill the zombies more quicker and more effectively so definitely going in the back of the hospital first to loot is definitely a smart tactic because you, you know you get the zombies on the other side of the wall and you have a better chance of looting your spots more quicker I mean it doesn't matter what route you take I mean you're going to get the same loot either way or, you know, some people actually start at the top floor, like the fourth floor, and then work their way down to the first floor. That's also not a bad strategy either. Man, 1036.14 millimeter. There we go. So, two big boxes to give away. Maybe I should, like, dedicate this for the event. Don't even bother giving away weapon or armor. Just giveaway ammo boxes because you know that's actually more valuable than the weapon and armor itself unless I lose something good let's not forget I did loot a hunter implant and I looted a Yuzu on my last two loot trips that I recorded so that was pretty awesome I'm not hoping for the uh, good loot streak to continue today because you know I'm only looting one hospital like I said at the beginning I went over a lot of things so you know that took some time as well. This aggro. Alright. Let me back up, take my time. I'm trying to see if I can go around it real quick. I'm not sure if I can without getting hit, to say the most. I'll just be patient. Just why nades are really useful when it comes to looting. Did I loot the back of this? I'm trying to remember. No, I didn't. See, I mean, that's another thing. Usually when I told you guys this already, but usually when I commentate, I usually lose track of my loots. So, good thing that I actually recognized I, I missed a whole entire area. It happens, but like I said, I caught myself in the act, so that's good. Truffles, no, I already told you guys, no to truffles, yes to whiskeys. Unless they're not Norish. I always make sure I'm Norish. I see people like Ludo Fine or Hungry, and say, like, dude, put something on, you want the max EXP. I mean, that's always important, and I'm not sure how many level 325 players there are in the game, but it's not that much. It's like, I think 70, 80, so that's out of like what? over 2,000 players that play this game so definitely recommend you always make sure that your hunger is 100% well anything above 75 is good let's go up the stairs floor number two here we go but let's go back to the hasten plan like I can't get over that 1.50 second difference like I guess it does make a difference in the long run. Let's not forget, I only did it in one area. So, for example, what if I did... What if I went 5 up and I timed myself there? And then I went 5 up again and I timed myself there. So that's 1.50 seconds 
times five. So that would be like three, four, fifty, six. That would be a seven second difference between the five blocks. Which is still not that much. But you guys get the point I'm trying to make. If it's a like short distance, you're not gonna see that big of a difference. But if it's long distance, you'll notice a difference. Especially when you're killing a boss, like I said earlier in the video. Like a flame black titan takes around 10 or 15 minutes to kill. And if you do the math there, you know, it's going to be a big difference in the long run, like I said. But for a thousand credits, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Like I said, and like I think I said it two videos ago, the only two implants that I feel is really worth to buy are actually three implants, really. Um, the EXP implant, which is the genius implant. The damage implant, which is the destruction implant, and the looting implant, which hasn't came out yet. But if that's out, I would definitely buy for sure. I'm not sure what the percentage is going to be, but that should be really helpful. 340 grenades, yeah. I'm definitely going to click yes to that. Even though, like I told you guys, I only click yes to heavy grenades, but since it's the ammo event, 340, big number right there. That's almost like two boxes of grenades in one. So that's a lot of money. I haven't looted a weapon or armor yet in this hospital, so. Don't really matter because the ammo event, like I said. Whiskey, but. Actually, I should click yes to that. Let's make sure I have like two or three whiskeys in my inventory. But like I was saying before, um, yeah, these are like the only three implants I feel it's worth to buy for the uh, speed implant. Did my game just crash? For real? Don't tell me my game crashed. Really? Really different here? And video too? Alright, so. I'm gonna pull up my task manager real quick. Actually fix itself. Actually, alright, it don't crashed, I think. Yeah, it did, so we're good. Sometimes it does, I have that weird glitch where my game crashes, and then it unfreezes within like 10 or 15 seconds, which is pretty dangerous, because, you know, you could obviously get hit, you could get leaper, you could die, and you really gotta pay attention, like, Lucky enough for me, I was on a loose spot, so I didn't have to worry about getting hit. At least I think I was. I don't even remember, but you really gotta be careful, cause I know that happens to my clanmates too, and I'm pretty sure it happens to other people. But it's always good to have your task manager open when you play Death Frontier, just in case for stuff like that. That way you can manually exit out Death Frontier really quick without. Uh, without not having to worry about you dying. I'm not even sure what the next implant. Oh, that's going to be out. It might be damage reduction. We'll see. I'm not even worried about that. It's sort of like... I mean, I guess the damage reduction, honestly. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be worth the buy. Just because, you know, I'm a PvPer, so that's definitely going to benefit me. Because, you know, I'm going to be harder to kill in the arena. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be 10% like the others. So, I actually might buy that, to be honest with you. So, we'll see what happens when that comes out. 0.50? Nah. Nah. First, I thought 0.50 was the highest amount of handgun ammo. But I forgot 0.55. So... Not even sure how much .50 is worth, so I'm not even going to bother. There we go, .55. Where are the odds? I talk about it, then I loot it. Definitely click yes to that. I'm trying to think if I loot it back here again. No, I didn't. I keep forgetting this area. Truffles, no thanks. So, I mean... We had... Like I told you guys in the beginning, three updates this week, and 
like I told you guys in my last video, I wanted like a surprise. I wanted something like that caught me off guard. The only thing that really caught me off guard was the master crafts in the yard. But that's not really a positive, to be honest. That's sort of like a negative, because we don't want that, like I said. So, the Halloween event, chances are it's going to be pretty similar to last year, like usual. And the new implant coming out. I mean, we all saw that coming. I told you guys in one of my videos, I thought it was going to be the lightning implant, but I was wrong, I guess. He changed the name. At least I think he did. I highly doubt that he just thought a haste implant off the fly. Personally, lightning implant sounds much better, but I missed a loose spot here, so I might as well go back here and see what I get. I should be something good. I'll be like, thank God I didn't skip it. 0.55 again, so yeah, I'll definitely click, uh, click yes to that. I think the next floor is the third floor, so I'll check that out right now. Yes, it is. Heavy grenades, sure, why not? Not even sure what my, uh, my inventory space is 24 out of 30. Me looting that would be like 25 out of 30. So this should be easy loot. God, I love the loots where you don't have to worry about anything hitting you, and you don't have to contest any zombies and whatnot. Like this loot right here. Ooh, actually, I actually should go back. Actually, nah, I'll skip it. I only got like five loot spots left. Then my inventory's filled up, so. Switch to my long shot. Might as well. But I do want to find more loot spots than just the hospital. Like, I really wanted to do something different because I wanted to, like, you know, explore the Northeast Sea more, show you guys new places and whatnot. But I'll be sure to do a next video. Next video for sure. I thought there was a school around here. There wasn't. I found a couple good warehouses though. I was gonna loot those, but I was like, you know what? I never looted this hospital. Like I did once, but the last video I didn't do it, so I was like, all right, so I guess I'll just do this instead. Might as well take it easy. And I've been getting good luck in the hospitals recently. Machete, I'm obviously not gonna give that out to you guys. 7,000, not even worth. But one of my goals is definitely to find a school somewhere in the white zone up in North DC. If you guys know the location, just let me know. I'll make a video of it ASAP. Let me see if I can loot this. Even with the chair in the way, I still got it. Grenades, sure, why not? I got 27 out of 30. Damn. That's the thing with this uh, ammo event. You start clicking yes to all the ammo boxes and your inventory gets filled up really quick. Yeah, I looted this area. I don't even know what I'm doing. That dog threw me off. That's the problem. It's chasing me. <laughs> Let's clear this. I do love the Wraith Cannon though in terms of looting. Yeah, it attracts the aggro, but it's really so quick to kill everything. And I guess that's sort of like why I use the Wraith Cannon more than the long shot in terms of looting. I'm pretty sure you guys would too if you guys had one. But, I mean, still can't go long, uh, wrong with the long shot though. Nero, nah, actually, 
Might as well. I think I have like three or four. Actually, wait. I'm 28 out of 30. Let me click now. I forgot. I filled out my inventory quick, so. Twelve point seven. I'll definitely click yes to that. If anything, I'll probably discard the regular kernies if I have to. Unless I forget about the spot that I always forget, which is all the way here. Damn, is that the highest? 1,327. I'm trying to think what I got in the beginning of the video. Yeah, this is definitely the highest for sure. Actually, I'm trying to remember. No, it's not. Because it was like 1,379 I got, not 1,327. I got more than that. Alright, so that's definitely Galuto. It's not too far off. And my inventory is full, so... I'm gonna just keep looting, and if I lose something that I want to click yes to, I'll just inventory up. Just because most of the stuff I loot, I usually click no instead of yes, so. Chances are I might not even loot another weapon or armor uh, by the time this video ends, but I don't want to be too negative on myself. I gotta stay hopeful and whatnot, because you never know what's going to happen, so. Dry truffles, pass on that. All right, I'm definitely done with this floor. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I am. So I'm gonna go to up to the last floor, see what I get. All right, so. One of the brightest things is you can always click yes to money. Money does not take up any inventory, so at least I can loot that. And it's 429 my time, which is Eastern Standard Time, so there's going to be a new boss, so instead of end ending this video, just looting the hospital, I'm going to kill the boss too. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Could be rumblers, which I hope not, because that's going to take a while to kill. I mean, yeah, I don't mind, you know, making this video really long, but at the same time, like I told you guys, rumblers are so hard to kill in terms of quickness, getting them down, and getting your loots. Because, you know, I'm the type of person that just wants to get my loots, so I'm pretty sure you guys are the same way as well. So, we'll see what happens. I'm about to check, too. I forgot, I clicked yes to 9mm earlier, too. Um, ooh, flaming long arms. All right, so unlike the last video, I'm actually going to finish up this hospital loot trip. Seeing that I'm on the last floor, so I might as well. And I have like one hour to get to this uh, boss location. I'm so depressed because my inventory is filled up, and I have to discard. I'll just inventory up now. I'll have to discard five items, so we'll see what happens. I'm actually at 82% nourishment, so I'll probably put a whiskey on me. And I am at 97% HP. I did get hit that one time. Alright, first of all, I don't want to look at this machete. It's just too depressing to look at. Alright. Nero, whiskey, that's three. That over 1,000 rounds does look pretty cool. I hate to discard that. Um, This is a difficult decision. You know what? Discard the regular grenades. 127, discard. Five Nero, you know what? Whoever uses Nero to heal themselves. Or it's just not good enough for the game. Because you know you're never supposed to get hit out on the inner city. You gotta practice. Every time I get hit, I'm like, alright, that's never gonna happen again. You always gotta learn from every mistake you do. Because every time you get hit, that's a mistake you made. So. You know what? I'm discarding this. I'm about to discard all my nearest. Nah. 
I won't be that savage, but I should never brought four armors with me too. But I only did that because uh my sound list is pretty full in the marketplace and my storage too, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, that's good enough. So let's continue this. I'm gonna click yes to these heavy grenades just because you know they're worth a lot of money, I think. Like 20k on the marketplace, that's not that much, but a Sabre, really? Um, sure, why not? All right, yeah, I had to look at my inventory real quick. Slots, spaces on my phone and the Dural B because I told you guys, you know, got my phone gadget on me, got my Dural P open. All I gotta do is look down, and you know, there you go, I get everything. Right in front of my eyes, so. Three sixty surgical mask, sure, why not? You know, I'm gonna have the inventory up again. I swear I just clicked yes to four different items really quick. Man. Yeah, whatever. I'll just do it then. No to Nero. I'm excited. I wanna kill these flaming long arms. So I'll definitely have five weapons or armor to give away for sure. I might mix it up. I don't even know. Usually it's the first five people. Last video I did ten I think. So we'll see what happens. I mean. I'll do first five people. But if I get a lot of people that comment. I'll definitely make it like seven or eight. Depending on how well and how quick it goes. And like I told you guys. It's hard to find your names on Death Frontier. So what I've been doing is, I usually copy and paste the name you give me onto the DRLP, and I get that ID. So I copy and paste the ID on Death Frontier, and I get your name that way. It seems to be working better than going to my buddies list and finding your name that way. Alright, so what am I going to do here? This saber is under 10k scrap. Surgical mask, you know. Let's see what it looks like. Eh, I don't like it, man. Just doesn't look good. Alright, this card. I didn't know what my favorite type of mask to wear. I like the Reaper either, that's pretty cool, but you can't loot that. My favorite lootable mask? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you. I really don't know. I'm still trying to think. Hmm. I guess the construction helmet, I guess. I mean. Just because it's bright and yellow, and you know, it's just like, I don't know. It's just original, I guess. The only bad side is you have to take your cloak off to wear it, so. Alright, so, these flaming long arms, I don't know the exact location, but once I go in the arrows, I'll quickly look at the boss map. I'll actually go down to the bottom left and make my way left that way. To die here, I think you see it. Oh well. Um, all right, so I gotta go down. And once I go down, if I look to my right, there should be a yeah, there should be a wall. So, yeah, I know where I'm going. I just gotta go left like three, and then we'll be at the flame and long arm location. Hopefully, there's a court. I'm not really sure to be honest with you. We're about to find out though, so hopefully I get something good. It's nice having this 50% speed. The thing with the Devil Hound though. Like, I'm thinking of it because the only way I can really kill it, like, 100% of the time if, is if I get, it like, a certain amount of speed boost. I'm not sure what that certain amount is, but once it was the, uh, the speed event, I forget how much speed boost I had in that Devil Hell montage. I think it was 75, 80, so I'm, like, 25% away, and I've never killed, I've never tried killing a Devil Hound lower than that 
um, speed boost. I mean, I did obviously with the 35, but <laughs> I stood no chance there. Let's be real. But I finally did it after like an hour of me trying like 20 to 30 times. So that's definitely not worth it for sure. But if I'm killing the Devil Hound, I'll definitely add some hyper implants on me. Like, I don't have hyper implants, but I'll probably ask my clanmate if I ever choose to kill the Devil Hound again. So I don't even want to think about that right now, because, you know. <laughs> If anything, I'll probably try killing it with the 50% speed boost, but I don't want to fight that devil hound again, though. I mean, like I told you guys in the past, what's done is done. We had our war ready. I ended up coming out on top, but, you know, I lost my all-time TS, so the devil hound did get something out of me, so. What's done is done. Alright, so. I should be in the flame and long arm area right now so I'm gonna work my way down see if there's a core or anything ooh wasn't paying attention I just backed up into like 10 to 20 zombies oh my where are they at though there we go Alright, so I don't see a court, so what I'm going to do is the wall trick, which is simply posting up against the wall, getting the aggro on one side, getting the flame and long arms on the other side, and just doing it that way. Healthy damage for real? Alright, so... Let me... Let me get these flame and long arms out of... inside the wall. Get them near me. Not too thrilled with this location. I get I got hit again. There's cars everywhere, so you know what? I'm gonna make my way down. Let's try the bottom right. Of course there's a big truck in the way. What is going on here? Of course there's another truck. Yeah, I don't like this area at all. Alright, that's fine. I'll make it work. Maybe this wall can do. Alright, let me focus. I think I got hit again. I'm not paying attention. I'm just hearing my character moan. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go at the same spot again. And the reason for that is... I mean, there's two openings. There's one here, and there's one here. So I can't kill the aggro. I mean, the flame and long arms in that area because you know the aggro has two ways it can get through the wall and come at me. So I'm better off going in an area where there's not any openings. It's just a pier wall. No way out for the aggro. Alright, so it looks like I got it locked in right now. Wish I could just get, you know, five loots. Don't even have to worry about killing another one. Alright, so... We can settle down. Now it's the, uh, the easy part. Just circling around. Not have to worry about any aggro coming at you. Yeah. This is the best part when it comes to killing bosses. When you don't have to do nothing. <laughs> but we'll see what happens here. I'm in the white zone too. I'm not in the black zone. So I'll definitely get the max possible loot. Chance. So we'll see what I get. When I looted the Yuzu, it was in the black zone. It was only one up. I mean, I did loot a war carbine on my alt account a long time ago. One left. So, you actually can loot the best items. Just one up, or one left, or one right. It's basically one away from the bunker. So, that's actually pretty cool, too. You just have to be gold membership, obviously. When you're a non-GM, I think the best loot you can really get is a Vulcan. Which doesn't really say much. So, like I said... In my previous videos, buying a gold membership definitely makes a huge difference. So I definitely recommend buying that. And 
these flame long arms are actually pretty tanky right now. Not like the rumbler, so so. It's also pretty funny that every time I like make a video, there's always five or something. Like, it's like the boss. The bosses know, like, oh, champion's making a video. Let's bring five loots for him, rather than just have one flaming black titan or black titan. I always seem to get the best bosses while I make a video, so I'm actually getting pretty lucky with that. Alright, so they're all twitching right now. Actually, take a while to go down while they're twitching. I'll give them that. All right, so we're one for one in loots. We are one and two, two and three. Actually, three for three. All right, so two more. If we're f actually okay, so four oh five. There's one on the other side too. I might not even have to worry about that one. Actually, there's two on the other side. Yeah, so. I'm not going to bother bringing it out. Just because I might get my fifth loot. With this flame and long arm right here. So I'm not going to do more work than I really should. I mean, I'll only do it if I need the EXP. Alright, sorry about that guys. The recorder just randomly stopped. Uh, so I just basically... You know, I just unpaused it, and now we're here again, so, alright. All three of them popped up, how? I mean, I left the game on pause, and all of a sudden, the two flaming long arms go from one side of the wall to the other, alright. That's some magic right there, but I guess I'm gonna just kill all three of them. I'm definitely gonna get one loot. I highly doubt that any of these flaming long arms are not gonna drop me my last loot. So I'm uh, just spin around in circles again. Just watching out for the exploders just because some healthy damage. I'm at 23% HP, 184 out of 800 durability. Uh, durability. And it's not 24% HP, it's 24% on my armor. I mean, I'm healthy, so yeah, I have nothing to worry about. And one's already twitching, that's not going to matter though. Because if, it, if I kill it, I'm going to have to worry about killing the other two flaming long arms. I highly doubt I can loot all five flaming long arms with two flaming long arms trying to kill me at the same time. And I already got my fifth loot. So I'm gonna just spin around in circles, kill these last two flaming long arms, and loot the five flaming long arms, and that's it. We'll call it a wrap. Hopefully, I get something good. And if you guys have any, you know, questions or whatnot, because there's three different updates, they're actually pretty big. And just watch the beginning of this video, just to get an idea of what went on, what went down. And yeah, feel free to discuss about it, share your thoughts, share your opinions. Let me know how you feel about this, because you know, Admin Pawn, he's aware of my YouTube channel. And he knows how big it is, he knows how consistent I make these videos, and how much I do my best to help the game. So, you know, even he might read the YouTube comments. So, whatever you say, actually, it might have an impact. Alright, so I got a katana. A walkie, alright, so nothing but melee, I guess. M60, take that back. Come on, give me something good. We got two loots here. Mastercraft and Katana, I don't take that back. Nothing but melee, and here we go. Might as well do it in slow motion. Yeah, I got this zombie dog. Alright, so here we go. Might as well tap my W, tap my D key. I'm nervous right now. Say a little prayer. 
360 around the zombie, no biggie, sledgehammer, wow. Nothing but melee, of course the last loot I get has to be the worst melee weapon out of all the loots I've gotten, out of the five loots, so. That's it to wrap this video up, and I got nothing more to say. I'll be sure to make a video next week, I'm not sure what it's going to be on, we'll see. Um, probably going to brainstorm, come up with ideas for you guys, but... This was overall a good video. I just wanted to share the updates with you guys. That was the main thing. And I tested out the uh, the haste implant with you guys along with looting the hospital 6 up 3 right. So we definitely made progress. We got stuff, uh, stuff done here during this video. So I'm pretty satisfied. I hope you guys are too. I'll be giving away 5 weapons or armor or the ammo boxes to the first five comments along with some extra stuff to those that comment a little bit late because I know a lot of people comment very quickly the last video I had a lot of comments in such a short amount of time which really caught me off guard so I'm definitely very very happy that you guys are keeping up with my videos commenting quick and I couldn't you know be any more thankful so thank you guys for that thanks for watching uh, trying to think when Halloween is uh Happy early Halloween, I guess. Feels like it's soon because of the announcement with the Halloween event, but happy early Halloween. Get your champion costume on, and yeah, peace out, everybody.